hi wow hello guys my name is ellen names a senior here at ihs Recently, our students have been aiming to improve our community, even society as a whole. Do you know what one of the most tangible, immediate ways to improve the world while protecting yourself and your loved ones is? Wear a mask. 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 Why the mask? Oh, can it? Principal Trumbull has previously addressed the concern of students not taking the COVID-19 mask mandate too seriously. With the rise of the Omicron variant, it is especially important that we minimize harm. Yes? How exactly will masking up benefit us? Well, I'm glad you asked. Let's get intellectual to the lab. According to the World Health Organization, the COVID-19 pandemic is one of the most dangerous crises humanity has experienced since the Second World War. If not with medicine, the most effective ways to slow the spread of the virus are with measures that include social distancing, quarantine, and masking. COVID-19 is spread through the air, and the most primary way to transmit the virus is through droplets from, as the CDC states, speaking, coughing, and sneezing. Lovely, but the effect can fortunately be lessened with, that's right, wearing a mask. In a study discussed by the National Center for Biotechnology Information, 335 people from 124 families in Beijing took precautions including mask wearing, and the transmission of COVID-19 in the area was effectively reduced. So spreading is bad enough, but getting, that's pretty tough. In various autopsies of COVID-19 patients conducted at Columbia University Irving Medical Center and the New York Presbyterian Hospital, damage to nerve tissue was found in the brain of every COVID-19 patient. While no infection was found, it appears that COVID-19 can damage the brain, leading to problems in cognition. In fact, according to the study, survivors still experience problems such as memory disturbances, somnolence, fatigue, and insomnia, and similar symptoms are reported in both the acute and recovery phases. And with the Omicron variant now sweeping the globe, a mask is a shield. Many students and staff at the school, maybe even you, have loved ones who are more susceptible to the virus. You may be able to outlast COVID, but that doesn't mean they won't be harmed. And I don't know about you guys, but I think temporary discomfort from a piece of cloth is preferable to a respiratory virus with uh, long-term consequences. Uh, you know, that's just me though. Believe me, I know this is tiring, but if we don't do our part right now to stop the virus, it'll keep on raging later, out there. So what do we do to help? The mask should be worn as demonstrated. Top over the nose, bottom tucked under your chin, no gaps. Make sure the mask is stretched out to fit your face. It is not to be worn like this, 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 or this. We've been in this situation for nearly two years now. You know to take a shower. Maybe. You should know to wear a mask by now. Does the mask give you acne? Yes. 
does anyone care about your acne? No. I have acne, and look at me. Plus, wearing a mask comes with a lot of perks. And make sure to fill out the QR code in order for your whereabouts to be accounted for in the event of exposure. By wearing a mask, you'll not only be keeping yourself safe, but also the people around you, and not around you, safe. Your actions have more of an impact than you think. So, one final time, mask, mask up! up.